Hello, this is Baron Becker. I'm going to show you how to create a self-scoring Google Docs form for information literacy assessment. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a Google account. You can do that by clicking on the sign in from the Google screen um, or just go to docs.google.com and either sign in or create an account from here. first screen that you'll see is the Google Docs home screen, which looks like this. If this is your first time signing into Google Docs, you won't have any um, items here listed in your uh, Google Docs list. Um, if this is your first time signing into Google Docs, this part will be blank. That's fine. Um, the first thing you want to do is click on the Create New button and click on Form in the drop-down menu. And you'll get your blank uh, Google Form. So the first thing you want to do uh, from this page is give the form a name um, and provide any additional instructions in the text box below the title. So here's where the uh, name of your survey will go. Um, we'll call it uh, Info Listed. And in the next box you can place any instructions for any of the students um, or whatever you need to do to explain the test. So they've created two questions. Um, get you started here. If you're going to be doing a pre-test, post-test, then I suggest you make the first two questions um, asking the students to enter in their name and student ID number or are there some kind of unique number. Um, this is important when comparing scores uh, for the same student. Um, sort of if you want to see an ass assessment um, increase in, in your score. So again, for the f in the question title box, I'll ask them to uh, what is your name? And then in the help text, you, can, you don't have to put anything, but here's where I put in uh, last name, first name. To make this a required question, you're going to want to do this for all of your questions, requiring them to answer each question before submitting the survey. And you click on Done. And you have your first question. If you need to edit in the question or you check to see that there's a, a misspelling or whatever, you can click on edit. And you can also just double click on the question to get into the edit screen. Sample question two. Where is your student ID number? Leave it a text, make it a required question, and boom, we have our first two questions. So for the remainder of the graded questions, um, I suggest you ask the questions in a multiple choice format. Um, this is necessary in order to create a self-scoring quiz. So uh, for the question type, um, I'll, I'll click on multiple choice. So you can click on add item up here, multiple choice. And here's where you can begin your, your multiple choice uh, questions that you, that you want graded. So um, next to question title, so where you put the question. Um, the only thing that might be a little confusing if you've never used this before is down here is where you can start putting in your multiple choice answers. Always remember to make this a required question. And click done. Well, I didn't add a question. This is what the students will see when they're taking the quiz. Always remember to save regularly just in case. <laughs> it's just a good idea to do. And then I'm going to fast forward to show you what it looks like once all the questions are mm -hmm. added. OK, I've just entered in some really simple math questions just for the purpose of this demonstration. Uh, remember to always save your your form in the save button up at the top. If you need to go back um, and edit a question, you can either uh, again double click on the question itself or click on the pencil. And you can actually rearrange questions um, by dragging them around as well. So once you're done and you make sure everything is, um, is saved, you can uh, go back to your Google Docs page 
your Google Docs homepage. Uh, it's either in a new browser, uh, or let's say you accidentally close that window, and then there's just docs.google.com. And you can see here's my info lit skills test that we just created. So the next thing you want to do is click on that info lit skills test, and you'll see that uh, it'll bring you to the spreadsheet that gets created. Uh, it's a corresponding spreadsheet that gets created when you create any form. And this is where uh, any answers will show up when people take the test, um, and it will also be where you can enter in and, and set up the answer key. So as you can see, here's our questions that I entered from the form. And of course, it's all blank. Now, a lot of the important functions you'll need to navigate the form spreadsheet, um, they're going to be found under the form menu. So by clicking on form, here's where you're going to see go to live form if you wanted to go to the actual, uh, the, the actual quiz. This is important. Accepting responses with the check, that means it's on. Without the check means it's off. So by off means no one will be able to take my quiz, but by putting in the checkbox means um, that it, the quiz is live. And here's where you'll see summary of responses. It's where it shows um, it, Google will make graphs of, of all the responses once, uh, once the quiz has been taken by your students. So the first thing we need to do is create an answer key. So what we'll do is we'll go to live form, and you need to take the quiz yourself. Okay, so for the, um, in the name, put answer key. Student ID number, answer key. So we'll identify it as being the answer key. And now I'll take your quiz. What's four plus five, nine, one plus one is two, it's eight, submit. So this is what um, students will see when the quiz is, when they take the quiz and click on the submit button. You can see now back at my uh, spreadsheet, all the answers, answer key, answer key, the time it was taken, um, and the answers are, are available. So here is the only complicated part, and it's not that complicated, but I'm going to teach you now how to create a self-scoring answer key.